Good morning, afternoon, evening, or night. We're back again with some of the more mysterious delights. So this is where we last left off with the Ingersoll Lockwood mystery over here. And now a lot of this picture seems to have been reduced and changed in the future iterations that has that have come out since this. So I was able to find this part in the middle here pretty clearly is what I would say is this right here. I was able to find this. If you look on Google um, for, if you image searched the hat, I, I believe, I'm sorry here. If you image searched the hat, it had come up, one of the links had this as the image. And it apparently is some movie, maybe from Bollywood or something like that. So anyway, I don't know what the implications are there. But that's from the first one. This is the first one now. And now, I remember checking this a few days ago. And it actually was updated to this. This is the more recent picture that we're working with. And... They seem to cut out a lot of it. They introduced a new a new mouse fellow over here. Seems to be in his, his work coveralls getting ready to go. But um yeah, there's obviously still a lot of symbolism of the apocalypse going on here. It's the great flood. Again with the time. There's there's three consistent things, and that's all from the center right, which is an interesting concept in and of itself. Is uh, maybe this is stands for all the the left's wha wacko ness. I don't know, but anyway, and that, it's something I noticed as well is that up here looks a little strange, and if you zoom in, you can actually see that there is a robed figure. Quite clearly, I wouldn't doubt that was probably the first image that was put on onto this thing, and then everything was overlaid on top of it. But either way, you could see that it is probably. Mr. Uh, Jesus, and he's in his robe. It could be Obi-Wan Kenobi as well. You don't know. Don't see a lightsaber, but perhaps that's for our imagination. So yeah, this was the second iteration that I had come across, and I think they kind of narrowed it down because the other one was just a bit too cryptic. So, from what I gather, this seems to mention... Um, Back to the third um, clue that I had found, which I actually, I have to do this right now just to make sure that I, I don't, I don't show anything. So, so let's do it like this. Let's just make sure we, uh, we don't, we don't ruin my whole life right now. And um, we can bring up. something that we're gonna we're gonna keep it off screen for a sec a little bit off screen at least that's that's what I'm led to believe and uh, there's a link that brought up when I image searched one of these pictures I was actually able to come up with quite quite some interesting things here and uh oh if if you go to that link that that's in there this if you click on on this picture right here if if you go to this link on this let me make sure you guys are seeing this right i'm sorry I need to figure this stuff out a little bit better for my for my own clarity here. Yeah, there you go. If you go to this link, Clear and Present Truth, the four rules, it actually brings up a whole bunch of stuff that's about like time-based prophecies and everything. So I think that that's definitely a clue that they were looking at. I don't know if they're going for something more specific here. I'm sorry. Let me take this filter off. So this website actually, and I'll put this in the video underneath these clues that I had found so it goes on about these time-based prophecy and breaks down how to like interpret them so for sure that is a clue leading up to this and 
I thought that this was very interesting as well. And the next phase of this is now what, um, what would we, this got posted like three days ago, two, three days ago, when you click that bunny. These are all things that happen when you go to the IngersollLockwood.com and there's like a white bunny rabbit at the bottom of the website. Today, when I went to click it, it, it had no hyperlink, but this was the one that was from yesterday. And it's the clip from Mary Poppins, 1964. Yeah, very foreboding. Very foreboding, pretty creepy, and um, yeah, I'd love to know what you guys think. Uh, I, I think that they're kind of just narrowing it down at this point, and they're not making it as vague, but any, any help, because between all the other stuff going on, I'm getting mentally burned out just trying to put in, put in half my sense that I should be to this. So anyway, here's the new info on the new Ingersoll Lockwood drop. Let me know what you guys think. Take care.